Over the course of 11 seasons, it's safe to say our group has been around the block more than a few times. They've gone from place to place trying to hold out, met many different groups along the way, and encountered many different communities and people in a world ravaged by zombies. In today's video, I want to do something a little different and rank the locations that our characters have gone. Now, this ranking is probably going to be a little bit controversial, so I want to go over my own personal rules as to how I'm actually ranking them. I'm not ranking them over the best chance of survival in a best case scenario. If I were doing that, then the CDC would take the first place easily. I'm ranking them with a few different things in consideration, how they got there, how many episodes we see them there, overall quality of life of the actual location itself, and just something I'm going to call the vibe factor. Would I want to live there? If yes, it's going to be higher up on the list. What were the vibes of the episode that we spent there? Did I like the episode? If yes, then it's probably going to be higher up on the list. Might be a bit confusing, you'll see during the ranking, but anyways, on with the video. Coming in at last place, we have the junkyard where the trash people live, or sorry, the scavengers. This is without a doubt the worst place I can think of when it comes to places to live during the zombie apocalypse. Is it safe? I guess so, but who would want to live in a literal dump? There's gotta be bugs and rats and all sort of animals living there, which I guess could be a plus to some people since you wouldn't have to go far for food. Not to mention the smell must be awful, and Jadis and her people just don't seem like good company, so yeah, last place. In second to last place is the Atlanta Survivor Camp. Now, I really like all these characters who lived here, and the episodes themselves are great, but the safety factor is extremely compromised. Granted, they were staying here during the beginning of the outbreak, and it was thought that all the zombies were in the city, so I can see that reasoning, but watching these episodes back, it's crazy to me that our characters would ever just be out in the open like this for walkers or people to sneak up on them. In 10th place, I'm putting Oceanside. Now, a place by the water actually seems pretty nice in the apocalypse, but Oceanside is introduced in one of the worst episodes of The Walking Dead, with Season 7, Episode 6, Swear. And other than a few glimpses at the community, we don't really spend a whole lot of time here, so while it's nice and everything, it's going in 10th place. Coming in at 9th place is The Farm, and this one might be a controversial placing. Contrary to a lot of opinions, I actually really liked Season 2 and its focus on character drama, but just like the Atlanta Survivor Camp, the safety is compromised. One herd of walkers absolutely annihilated this place, even with Herschel's infinite ammo shotgun. Though all of the characters are great, and this place was at least semi-self-sustaining, it all comes down to safety. Next we have the Sanctuary, where safety against walkers is very well maintained, but safety against people is a different story. Negan certainly had a safe place to live, and if you were one of the higher ups in the community, you had your own nice room with food, electricity, showers, but for everyone else, you lived in the bottom, and might as well slept with one eye open. This is really encompassing all of Negan's places like the satellite station, where they really should have slept with one eye open, because these places were all nice and well maintained. I wouldn't want to be part of the saviors, and of course season 7 and 8 dipped in quality, so the sanctuary, while it was up and running, never really got the time to shine like all the other communities higher up on this list did. In 7th place we have Woodbury, which was our first glimpse at a community that would try to make things just like they were at the beginning of the apocalypse a trend we would continue to see in a few other communities down the road. Season 3 was of course a highlight, and Woodbury was a very nice place even under the governor's reign. I loved seeing this seemingly great place eventually break down under the governor's ruling. Would I have lived there? Absolutely I would have, but I probably would have gotten killed under the governor's leadership. Next up we have the CDC, and like I said in my intro, safety is at an all-time high here. If it weren't for, you know, Dr. Jenner blowing up the place with everybody inside. While we were only here for an episode, it was a nice change of pace seeing the group have dinner, take showers, and even get drunk together. This seemed like the absolute perfect place to sustain, and if it weren't in Ashes, I wonder if Rick and company would have stayed there or maybe even tried to go back afterwards. But they couldn't. The day will come when you won't be. And that day 
definitely came. Up next we have the kingdom, and now we're getting into the territory of places that could probably all be interchanged depending on your preference. The kingdom was run like it was in medieval times, which definitely made it stand out next to the other communities, and with King Ezekiel in charge, man, this dude could make me run through a brick wall with his motivational speeches. But we actually don't spend a whole lot of time in the kingdom, and I really think we only see it for like under 10 episodes, which is definitely a shame, but here's to Jerry's Kingdom 2.0. In fourth place, we have the Commonwealth, which is obviously a community like Woodbury that attempts to bring a sense of normalcy to the apocalypse, just on a much, much bigger scale. Everyone has jobs, and safety seems like an afterthought if it weren't for those in charge. While this place brings a sense of normalcy, the classism and authority definitely brings it down. In our bronze spot, we have the Hilltop, which, other than our two top spots, I think gets the most screen time. Hilltop is a rather small community that has been through a lot. Multiple different attacks, multiple different leaders, but it always seems to come back stronger than ever, and with Maggie in charge, we've seen this place go through a lot of different changes. Most of the episodes that take place here are very good, underrated, or even great, but there are certainly a few duds as well. Would I live here? Sure, but I probably would have died in any of the dozen attacks that this place has gone through. In our silver spot, we have the prison, which many consider to be the best era of The Walking Dead, and I think that's a very fair opinion. The prison era gave us some of our best memories of the show, and it was cool to see a group inhabit a place that isn't traditionally well thought of and turn it into a home. Safety, once it was inhabited, was certainly established, I mean it took a literal tank in order to bring this place down, but the prison gave us some of the highest highs of the show, and for that reason it gets placed at number 2. But our first place and gold medal winner is Alexandria. Just like the hilltop, this place has been through a lot, but it's built back stronger every single time. This place has also undergone many different changes in both look and leadership over the years, and it's really crazy to think about how Alexandria was when they first got there to where it is now. This place has given me my fondest memories of the show with seasons 5 and 6, and for that reason, it's coming in at number 1. That's my list, if I left any places off of it, they weren't either that memorable to me, or they just would have been in last place like Terminus or The Hospital in Season 5. And I know this list is going to be a controversial one, believe me, but I have my own reasonings for the placement and I'm sure you will have your own as well. Let me know down in the comments below what your ranking of the locations slash communities are. If you want to see me do more ranking videos, let me know that down in the comments. I've already done a video ranking all of the seasons of The Walking Dead, so you should check that one out and subscribe for more videos like this. If you do, then I'll see you in the next one. Yeah.